And hey there guys, this is Geeky Doll Girl and we're back here at Superhero High with two new superhero girls to unbox. And they are Bumblebee from Teen Titans and the infamous Poison Ivy. Let's get to it. And here they are, out of the box. Yeah, yeah, this is an unboxing video with no boxes. I bought both of these dolls when I was at my friend's house during the Christmas holidays and the temptation was too much, I had to get them out. Anyways, let's start with Bumblebee. And when I saw her in the shop for the first time, I had no idea who she was. I had to Google it and now I'm obsessed. And I had to get the doll, plus her outfit is really awesome. Although I don't have a box, sorry, I do have the box artwork because I love the art style of this so much. And now I have a drawing tablet and this is my inspiration to get started on some cool stuff. We have her holographic ID card with a list of her powers and her bio. And this doll has a seriously cute little face. Look at her. I think out of all of the series, Bumblebee looks the most like her web series self. She has an especially like cartoony face rather than a doll face and I really love it. She's got some luscious hair going on, some golden streaks, and she's got some really cute little molded cornrows on the side of her head. Is that what they're called, cornrows? Really sorry if I got that wrong. The only thing I kept noticing, which is a bit off, is her lip colour. Because in the artwork and the cartoon, her lips are distinctly a rosy pink colour and the dolls are very purple, which I'm not really into. I think pink would look a lot better, so teeny paint job is in order, I think. Her outfit is super snazzy. We've got a little black top with a central gold panel, some honeycomb panels down the side and some yellow overlocking. Got some black leggings and I don't know whether these are honeycomb panels down the bottom or really nice leg warmers. I think they're more likely to be panels but I really like these as leg warmers. And a pair of yellow boots and they've, look, they've done it again. It's top stitching. Ah, I need to paint it. It's got some really nice winged gauntlets and they can be taken off if you pull her hands off. And we have another winged backpack like that, girls. I love these. I really want one for myself with butterfly wings. And speaking of wings, these are very cool. Kind of like embossed stained glass. And I recognize the pattern on the backpack from somewhere and this is gonna bug me for ages because I've seen technology that looks like this. <laughs> on to the next one. The intelligent but very shy Poison Ivy, as it says on her card. Quite a bit different from her comic book persona, but I'm loving this reboot because she's so sweet. And guys, this artwork is by far my favourite out of all of them. It's just, ah, oh, everything from the colours, the lighting and the details, and oh, I'm going to stare at this all day. And looks like the face paint pretty much nailed it. I'm very impressed. His eyes are perfect. Oh, such a sweet little face. She's just so cute. And whoosh is her hair red. Very shiny and soft. And the first one out of all the dolls I've gotten with no kinks in her hair. I'm so happy. love this little outfit. Pretty little green chiffon dress with a belt. We've got some green leggings, some vine shoes, which are really nice. I'd wear these. And they're kind of rubbery and they don't really attach to anything. They just sort of wrap around there and sort of sit there. She's got a vine accessory with two open hands, but one of them got a little squashed in the box unfortunately and I didn't realise until I got her out. But I don't mind it that much because it makes her unique. I love the fabric in her dress. It's got little vines printed on it and metallic leaves and little pink roses. It's so pretty. Got a bit of pink top stitching on her leggings and under her dress she's got a little tank top with ribbon straps. 
she's got a belt made out of vines with a little pink rose and the vines are like the shoes they're kind of they're all squishy and rubbery I really like that here's a closer look at her little vine accessory and her gauntlet squish 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 <laughs> Overall, I love this towel very much, but the only thing I really don't like about it is this hair clip. I just really don't like it. It's really stiff and plasticky and it hangs the wrong way all the time. I really wish they'd made it like rubbery, like the belt or something, because it really, it doesn't match. I'm probably going to end up cutting the vine part off and leaving the little rose and maybe like getting some embroidery thread and winding it around the little twist. And that is Bumblebee and Ivy Unboxed, the latest two supers for my collection. I love and highly recommend both of them. They're so cute and so pretty. I love the outfits and they're going to be going on the super shelf with their classmates. And there will be lots more superhero girl videos coming very soon because I'm going to do a lot with these dolls. Hope you enjoy the video, feel free to like and subscribe and all that stuff and I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little funny but I've had the flu for the past two weeks. Which is also why this video didn't go up sooner. <laughs> but I'm nearly better and I've got a whole bunch of other videos waiting to be edited and uploaded and I'll get those up as soon as I can and I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye!